again, I have two equations as shown over here. I want to solve for x and y. My first step is to name them equation 1, equation 2. Does this sound familiar? Equation 1, equation 2. It's the same, right? Okay, so simultaneous equation, no matter what, just name them equation 1, equation 2. Okay? So step number 2. Check whether both equations, you've got two equations, huh? check whether any of them have the same coefficient for x and y. Okay? Where is my, what is my, for equation number 1, what is my coefficient of x? 1, right? Okay, what is my coefficient of y in equation number 1? Also 1, okay? Uh, equation number 2, what is my coefficient of x? 1, what is my coefficient of y? 2, okay? In these two equations, does your x and x have the same coefficient? Have. Does your y and y have the same coefficient? No. But all we need is one of them have the same coefficient, can already. Okay? So in this case, x and x, they have the same coefficient. So step two is done. Okay, they have the same coefficient. Now, what happens uh, if I take equation number one, plus, uh, sorry, minus, minus equation number two. This over here is a minus. Okay? So in our two equations, I can break them down into the left hand side and the right hand side agree right okay so on the left hand side i have y in equation number one on the left hand side i have 2y for equation number two on the right hand side equation number one i have x plus two on the right hand side i've got x plus one for equation number two okay so when i talk about equation one minus equation number two what I mean is left hand side for equation 1 minus left hand side for equation number 2 this will be equal to right hand side for equation 1 minus right hand side for equation number 2 Sound complicated? Does it sound complicated? Okay, let's see what this means When I subtract, ah uh, Left hand side for equation number one. What do I have for the left hand side for equation number one? Y. Okay. Y minus the left hand side for equation two. What is that? What is that? Two y. This is supposed to be equal to the right hand side for equation number one. What is that? What is the right hand side for equation one? X plus two. Then minus what? Okay, minus, do I need brackets? I'm subtracting the whole right hand side for equation number 2. Uh. Minus x plus 1. Okay, now I have an equation. How many unknowns are there? In black color, how many unknowns? Two of them, x and y. Can solve or not? By right, two e one equation, two unknown cannot solve right. But something magical is about to happen. What happens to the x? What happens to the x? It disappears, right? Because I say equation 1 minus equation 2. In equation 1, I've got an x over here. Equation 2, I've got x. When I subtract, it will disappear. So I end up with one equation with one unknown. So I can solve. Okay? So in black color, let me continue. I will put it uh, up here. This is... How much is this? x plus 2 minus x plus 1. x plus 2 minus x plus 1. Okay, so this is my equation. I simplify, I get negative y equals to x plus 2 minus x minus 1, which is 2 minus 1, which is 1. So y equals to negative 1. Right? Sub into which one? 1. Uh. Anything, uh, whatever you prefer. Okay? You want to sum into 1, also can. Sub into 1. So I get negative 1 equals to x plus 2. Because I need to find y as well. Oh, sorry, x as well. So x equals to negative 3. Answer? x equals to negative 3. y equals to negative 1.
Okay? Notes want us to do. They say subtract number equation number one from equation number two. So what it mean is that equation two minus equation one. Ah. Is that what I did? I took one minus two, right? Now they want two minus one. Okay, let's see what happens. When I take equation number two minus equation number one on the left hand side. From the left hand side of equation number two, what do we have? What should I put in the blank over here? 2y, okay, what about the left hand side for equation number 1? Okay, 2y minus y, and then the right hand side of equation number 2, because I'm taking 2 minus 1, right? So right hand side of equation number 2, what is that? What is that? x plus 1, then minus x plus 2. Look at this bracket, go ahead and highlight this bracket in particular. Very important, because if you do not have the bracket, then you may miss out the negative times positive 2. So from here on, we will simplify to give us 2y minus y is y equals to x plus 1 minus x minus 2. When you do elimination, one of the variable will disappear. Which one disappears in this case? X. Why am I left with? Y equals to? Negative 1. Because 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So sub y equals to negative 1 into either equation number 1 or equation number 2. Up to you. So sub y equals to negative 1 into equation number 1. And we get negative 1 equals to x plus 2. So x must be negative 3. So final part, check your answer. You can use graphical method. Anybody going to check using graph? Nobody's going to do this, huh? Not a good idea.